so hello everyone today we are going to see a very amazing game that was played by a former world champion anatoly karpov against a great grandmaster korshnov okay so this was game the game and it was played in the world championship in 1978 okay so in this game uh, karpov was white and korshnov was black okay so let's see how the game began so karpov started with pawn to e4 then korshnoy played pawn e5 and white plays knight to f3 then black plays knight to c6 then karpov plays bishop to b5 okay so this is all the standard main opening line of the ruy lopez In a6 it is known as morphy defense then bishop goes back to a4 okay here either you can capture or you can take back there are two options but karpov prefers to keep the bishop and he just went back then black played knight to f6 white castles and on this move black played knight to e4 he captured that pawn usually it is said that it's not that good to capture that pawn because you have to complete the development and is as white is ahead in the development he will be having the advantage but korshnoy didn't took the pawn in the hope to just win the material he is eventually going to give it back so here white played pawn to d4 as the white has seen that black king is still in the center and white has already castled so it is usually the main idea that whenever the opponent's king is there in the center you should always try to open up the position from the center and attack especially when your your king is castled and opponent has not castled his king okay so he played d4 black plays pawn to b5 white plays bishop to b3 now black plays pawn to d5 and he is giving up the pawn okay that he has captured previously white took the pawn with the pawn black plays bishop to e6 normal developing move white plays knight b to d2 again developing and offering the exchange of knight as you can see this black knight is very strong so karpov is offering the exchange of the that knight that strong knight against the weak knight but korshnoy denied and he took the knight back now white plays pawn to c3 then black plays pawn to g6 because he wants to develop the bishop from the g7 then white plays na queen to e2 okay queen to e2 because again the same thing he is trying to somehow build some pressure on the opponent's king okay that's why he played queen to e2 black has developed his bishop on the g7 and is ready to castle but now he will not allow it okay because karpov has something in mind and he will not allow it so he plays knight to d4 offering the exchange of knights but here Korshnoy become little bit greedy and did a mistake that he captured the pawn on the e5 and this was the mistake of the game that Korshnoy did. Okay, now you can see how the Karpov has took the advantage of this mistake. He should have just exchanged the knights and when the knight goes back, he should have castled. Okay, something like that he should have played. but instead he took the pawn now white plays the very strong move f4 he is going all out on his opponent he is trying for full fledge attack black moves the knight on the c4 pawn push f5 he is just opening up the bishop cannot be moved it is pinned okay so black took back with the pawn because he don't have any other option or else he will lose the bishop white took the pawn with the knight and he is attacking the bishop now 
this king side is has become very open and white can easily attack so black plays rook to g8 to save the bishop because this bishop is under attack so he wants to save it so he plays rook to g8 so white just took the knight first d pawn takes then bishop to c2 saving the bishop here black has played knight to d3 okay he is trying to come in and black plays the move bishop to h6 the point of this move is as you can see that white is ready to attack but this bishop is somewhat is the uh, piece which is guarding the black on the dark squares so what he is trying to do is just exchange out his uh, the bishop for his bishop this bishop if you will see for white it was doing nothing here so he just went on and he wants to exchange that bishop black plays the move bishop to f8 white plays the move rook a to d1 pinning this knight so that this knight cannot go anywhere then black plays queen to d5 white just took takes rook takes and white has just simply won a pawn here now black has played queen to c6 because uh, his queen was under attack so simply he has to save the queen but here you can see that the black king has become so weak okay black king has become so weak white is full fledged ready to attack white's pieces are very much active and is completely ready to attack he just took the bishop which was guarding the uh, entire king side area first black gives the check on the b6 king moves to h1 and then black captured back then white played amazing move queen to f3 he is attacking this rook so now rook has to move so this is what karpov is doing and this is what karpov is good at or you can say he, he was best at that's why he has become the world champion he when he starts attacking he attacks with the full fledge he never stops he has the when he has the initiative he just keep on increasing that initiative keep on improving the position and he attacks so precisely then rook to e8 because he has to save the rook then knight to h6 attacking the rook on g8 then rook to g7 saving the pawn and now here this is the point of the game that you have also seen in the thumbnail and you all were waiting for this was the critical moment and this was the what you would say the excellent move that was played by uh, the white here that was he moved the rook to d7 this is such a strong move because if black will take the rook directly then queen to f7 rook takes and rook takes is a check mate okay so that was just a brilliant rook sacrifice so that's why black didn't took black played the move rook to b8 but nothing will happen white just took the pawn with the knight bishop anyway took the rook and now there is just white can just play knight to d8 already the black has resigned at this point itself but just to show you the continuation if bishop takes the rook then knight d8 check is coming and wherever the black king goes queen f8 will be a checkmate let's say if it goes on the g8 then queen f8 is a checkmate if it goes on the e7 or e8 still queen to f8 is a check mate okay so this was the brilliant game played by the former world champion anatoly karpov and this was his style of playing okay and uh, if you have liked this game please like the video do subscribe to the channel and i will be coming up with more such interesting games more end games middle games opening ideas so many videos would be coming up so for that press the bell icon and please stay tuned for the updates okay i have already prepared the video on the 
end game and i have started the series of the end game so on the screen the video is appearing you can click and watch the queen versus pawn end games it is very helpful so this was it for today bye bye